your host Jason. In this beginner friendly tutorial, I'll be showing you how to design a hoodie in Canva. I will also be showing you a platform on which you'll be able to upload that design and create a hoodie and sell it online for completely free. Once on Canva, I want you to tap on the search bar and from here you're going to type in hoodie. After typing in hoodie, you can see different options. You have the general hoodie right there. You can also select Christmas hoodie depending on the time that you're watching this video. You can also select cool hoodie, couple hoodie, cute hoodie, frog hoodie. You can see that there are different categories that you can select from. But we're just going to be selecting the general hoodie. After you have done that, you will be redirected to this page. On this page, you'll be provided with numerous templates that you can choose from. So you can scroll down and you can see the different templates. And this is one of the main reasons why I recommend Canva to anyone that is deciding to go into print on demand or simply want to create a design that they can upload on a hoodie or t-shirt as it is beginner friendly and easy to use. Keep in mind that any one of the templates that you see with the crown that says pro, you would have to be a paid subscriber on Canva to use that. But there are numerous templates that you can use for completely free as you can see right here. So all you'll need to do is select one of these templates. Now let's say for example, I would like to use one of these templates and I'm going to be selecting this one for example sake. After selecting it, I'm going to tap on customize this template and I'll be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you can see how it looks right here. So the changes that I'm going to make, I'm just going to minimize the image real quick as I'm going to be keeping the image. After minimizing the image, I could also add another image if you want. So if you like to add an image or a beta graphic, all you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option and tap on elements. And let's say for example, I would like to also add a beer. So I could type in beer right there. Then from there, I'll tap on graphics. After you have tapped on graphics, you can see copyright free elements that you can use. Sorry about that. All you'll need to do is select the one that you like so you can scroll down and you can see the different options right here. So there are numerous options that you could select from. Now let's say for example sake, I'm just going to select a random one so I won't draw out this tutorial. So I'm just going to select this one for example and I'm going to be adding it right here. And I'm just going to adjust the size. And then I'm also going to be adding a text in between. So I'll go over to the left hand menu option, tap on text, and I'm just going to add this text box and I'm going to type in, you choose. After doing that, you can also change the font style by tapping right where you see Canva Sans on my screen from the top navigation bar. And from here, you can see numerous font styles that you can choose from. So you can select the font style to your liking. By scrolling down, you can see numerous options that you can select from, as you can see right here. And I'll be selecting this option. But one thing that I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to be changing the background color. So I'm going to change it to white and I'm also going to change the text color. So I'm going to simply highlight the text color, tap on the capital A, and I'm going to change it to black. Then I'm going to change the background color to white. So I'll tap on the color box in the top left hand corner, then change it to white. After doing that, the reason why I'm doing this is I'm going to be removing the background and this helps me to see it even better. So to do this, we're going to tap on share in the top right hand corner, tap on download. And since I'm using the free plan on Canva, I would not be able to make the, trans the background transparent used in Canva. So instead, I'm going to tap on download and then I'm going to open a new tab and I want you to type in remove BG. After you have done that, you're going to tap on the first option which says remove background. So you're going to go on to remove that BG, then tap on upload image. And from here, you're going to select the image that you have created. So you can select the image real quick. Then you'll tap on open. After you have tapped on open, you are going to give it a few seconds and you can see the background is being removed. Once the background has been removed, you are going to tap on download. 
Now that you have downloaded your hoodie design, all you'll need to do now is open a new tab and you're going to go onto Printify.com. Printify.com is the platform that we'll be using to create our hoodie and it is also the platform that we'll be using to create our website on which we'll, be, we'll start selling our hoodie design. So once on Printify.com, you can create an account for completely free using your email address. You don't need a credit card or anything like that. All you need to do is tap on start for free. And you can do this from any country in the world. After creating your account, you're going to tap on my store in the top right hand corner. Then from there, you'll be redirected to this page. And I want you to tap where you see basketball on my screen from the top left hand corner. And from here, you can see examples of stores that I've created in the past. And you'll be able to create up to five stores if you want. So I'm going to be creating another store. So I'll tap on add a new store. And you can see the different platforms that you can quickly integrate Printify on. And you could quickly start selling your hoodie. But I'm going to be using the Printify pop-up option. And I would recommend that you use this option also. As with this option, you'll be able to create a print-on-demand website for completely free. So all you'll need to do is type in your store name. So let's say I'll call it Lion Club, just for example sake. Once that is available, you'll see your store URL right there. Then you're going to type in your country. After doing that, all you'll need to do now is tap on Next. After you have tapped on next, you'll be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you'll now be able to choose your theme. So you can see you have five different themes you can choose from. I'm going to be selecting this one, then tap on launch pop-up store. Then I'm going to tap on the X in the top right hand corner. After you have done that, I want you to select catalog from the left hand menu option. And we're going to be selecting hoodies. You can select either men's hoodie, women's hoodie, as you can see right there. I'm going to be selecting women's hoodie for this example. After you have done that, depending on your target market, as you can see right here, you can select any one of these options. So I'm going to be selecting the best seller right here. Then from here, you will tap on start design. You can also see the different colors that it is available in. You can see that it is available in 13 different colors. We're going to tap on start designing. Then we're going to tap on upload in the top left hand corner and select my device. From here, I'm going to select the design that we had created in Canva and I'm going to tap on open. After you have tapped on open, you can see that it has been added right here. And all you'll need to do is simply pull on it to adjust the size. So you can pull on it right there and we can adjust the size so you can see right there. Once it is to your liking, all you will need to do now, you can choose whether you would like to add it to the back side also by tapping on back side right there. You can also see the colors so we could select variants. At the moment it is only there in white. So if you like it to be also available in gray, you could do that. Dark heather. You can also select header navy. You can see the different options. Charcoal right there. Black. Red. Any one of these options that you like it to be available in, you can select them. Or you can select all of the options right here. Once it is to your liking, you'll tap on save product in the bottom right hand corner. Then from here, you can see the different mock-up images. And you can select the main mock-up image that you would like to use. After selecting the main mock-up image, you can see right there, title image, you can see the different options, you could change the color, so you can see it right there. Then you'll tap on publish in the bottom right hand corner. After tapping on publish, you'll be redirected to this page. And by the way, if you would like to change the price, you could do that on the previous page, or you could simply tap on the three dots right here, and from here you would see the option to edit. You just have to give it a few seconds until you see published and then you'll be able to edit it. Once published comes up, I'll show you how it looks on your store right now. You can see it has been published. If we were to tap on edit design right there, you'd be redirected back to this page. 
and then from there you could tap on save product once more in the bottom right hand corner and after you're on this page you could scroll down and edit the product description and the product title you could also scroll down and from there you could offer international shipping or so on if you want and you can also edit the prices by tapping on select all then tap on edit price and from here you could set the price that you would like to sell it for you can also edit the profit margin but when it comes on to printify the typical profit margin would be 40 percent so you can see the profit that you'll be making for each design or better each hoodie would be thirteen dollars and fifty six cents once everything is good you are going to tap on publish once more and then you could tap on confirm after you have done that you'll be redirected back to this page again and then from there you are going to see publishing and then you are going to see that it has been published once it has been published all you'll need to do now you are going to tap on the three dots then tap on see in store and from here you can see it how it looks so this is how it looks at the moment and when someone comes onto your store they'll be able to change the color so you can see right there and you can also share your store link by copying the URL and persons will be able to come onto your website and make a purchase hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe